Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you this split twirl transition in HitFilm Express. So this effect is actually super easy to do. There's only one really big issue, and that is the warp effect that we're going to use to create this effect is the vortex displacement warp, which as you'll notice is labeled layer only, which means that it cannot be used on an asset that is sitting on the editor timeline, but only can be used on an asset that is in a layer of a composite shot. So I'm going to create a composite shot. And for this example, I'm only going to make this composite shot two seconds. And notice it's 30 frames per second. That will be important. Okay, so this effect will have to happen within a composite shot. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a couple of pictures. One picture I'm going to slide over so that we have one picture that's the bottom picture, is going to fade into the top picture, okay? Um, now you could use videos, you could use any picture asset or motion graphics, whatever. Uh, I'm going to just use a picture as an example here, okay? So we're going to start with the first picture. I will um, turn off the visibility of the bottom picture for just a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and drag in the vortex displacement warp onto this layer. You can see what that sort of does, right? This frame is 1920 across. If you divide 1920 by four, then you'll find out that the one quarter mark is 480 degrees. So what I'm going to do is open up the center position and just make this negative 480 degrees. So it's at the one quarter mark here. And then I'm going to up the radius to 1260, which will make sure that it just covers the corners of this uh, shot. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and make this one full circle this way. All right. So this is where it starts. And then if I go ahead and keyframe that, I'm going to move forward about one third of a second, which is 10 frames and I will make that zero. So now it will basically circle in that way. Okay, go ahead and making these uh, manual bezier just to make it a little smoother. Uh, I will now go ahead and do the other side and I will go ahead and just right click on this and duplicate it so that I can use the same uh, effect, just change a couple of the settings. The first setting I'm gonna change is the center instead of being negative 480 i'm going to make it positive 480 if i hold control and click on that it just changes it to positive okay also this has to go instead of from one to zero it has to go from negative one to zero so that they both come in towards the center from the bottom of the frame like this okay all right now to add a little bit of a of a touch to it, I also want to create a sort of a fake motion blur of those. And it's a big circle or radial looking blur. So I'm going to go ahead and under blurs, add a radial blur to this. Okay. The radial blur is centered here. So again, I want to move it off center to that negative 480 points. So it's a dead center in the middle of the vortex. Uh, it will start at five and actually I want it to stay at five for say the first five frames or so then I will go ahead and keyframe that making it Emmanuel Bezier I will go to the tenth frame and then I will pull, dial that back okay also making that one a manual Bezier then I can go ahead and duplicate that radial blur and opening that up I will just position the center to the other side and again control clicking that will move that over to the other side so now I have this very nice motion blur fake motion blur until it ends up uh, stopping or easing out of that okay so now that I have done that in picture one I'm going to go ahead and do it in picture two I guess before I do that I should go ahead and have picture one fade in so it will end up being fully opaque at the 10 frames in and then if I back up 10 frames, I want it to be completely transparent. 
and we'll just make that so that it fades in and then I'll fade the other one out and we'll just have this little crossfade happening there okay all right so now that I have done all of that I'm gonna go ahead and grab these all of them and control C to copy and then under picture 2 which I will go ahead and now bring up I will control and paste control V okay now if I hit the U key then you can see not on picture one but on picture two that all of these keyframes are at the beginning of the picture so I'm just gonna grab all of these and I'm going to simply drag them over to where the the fade in starts here okay this way all right now the problem is is that it's um, it needs to go the backwards from what the other one did okay so this will be a simple matter of moving some keyframes around the first thing I want to do is I want to grab these two and just slide them over here and then I'll grab these two and bring them back here and then I can just put those where those were originally so now you can see how that slides the problem is is that it's sliding the wrong direction so all I have to do is just change this one to a negative one and change this one to a one all right also the blur is here and that is what I want but I want them to flip the other way so in other words I want it to start off clear and then I want it to become blurry as it vortexes okay and then the last thing that has to happen if I hit the U key a couple of more times opening up the transform I can go ahead and fade this one out so I'll keyframe the opacity and then 10 frames later I will go ahead and have it completely faded out and now when I turn back on the other one you can see that it fades from one right into the other and that is pretty much how that effect looks if you have any questions about it do me a favor and leave them in the comments below. We'd love to answer them for you. Also, if you like this kind of video, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell icon for more content just like this. Thanks for watching.